welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. An AL West matchup on the show. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the Oakland Athletics. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. So the Oakland A's have already won the series, and now they go for the four-game sweep, Chris. It's been a lopsided series so far. Yeah, they've clearly been the better team, and I expect them to come out today looking to tie a bow on this series. And on the other side, most teams run into at least a three-game sweep at some point, but not every team looks back at a four-game sweep at the end of the year. And I'll say this, as a player, it's especially frustrating when the losses keep coming against the same team. So if they can salvage a win today, this series won't go down quite as sour. Just about set to go now. And today's starting pitcher, James Caprillion. Yeah, his ERA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. You know, one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. All right, ready to get underway. So in now for the Angels, David Fletcher. Pitch is in for a strike, and we are underway. First pitch, 107. Kicks and fires. Well, and takes low for ball one. Guy like this can be tough. You know he's not going to try to beat you with velocity, but he's going to sink it, he's going to change speeds, and he's going to pitch backwards at times. On the ground to first. A flip to the pitcher covering. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. Here's Joe Madden's lineup for the Angels. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience. Singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the, the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Out towards center. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Patting third, the third baseman, number six, Anthony. Anthony Rendon. Rendon making his way to the plate. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. Two down, nobody on. Fouled off, he was late. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Nope. No score, just getting started top of the first. That's where you want it, it's a good miss. Next offering is fouled back. Two, two down. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Angels go quietly there. Angels nothing. A's coming to bat. Major League Baseball is on the show. Bottom of the first, next to hit, Jonah Bride. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. Not close with that one. And it's a ball to strike. There's a 1-1. One, one. Pitch misses outside. 
And a count two and one. That one in for a strike two and two. On the ground to short. Fletcher over to pick it up. Sends it to Walsh. One gone bottom half of the first. Batting second. And time now to check out the A's lineup. Their opponent on the mound today does run into some trouble finding the strike zone in time. So, Singy, I got to figure part of the plan, be patient, be selective today. Yeah, you know coming in, regardless of, you know, what that first inning is going to look like, you know his history. You don't want to help him out. You've got to be patient and make sure that when you attack, that it's a pitch that you can do some damage with. Otherwise, just build up some traffic on the base pass, push across some easy runs, and perhaps get into some of those gap arms in the bullpen. In the air, left field, Brown settles underneath it, makes the grab, two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming Daddy open Kirk. instead of staying closed. No if he does that, Mark. he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way wow. with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Here's Trout. This guy is an elite level hitter, especially considering contact, just the ability to hit for average. What you really like, though, stays in against those righties, and that's not so easy as a right-handed batter. pitch there's some nope. players for whatever reasons they seem to just now face a slew of right-handed pitchers and their comfort level increased so much that they'd actually prefer to face that same side thrower in a tough situation line to left and that should be extra bases and that's going to kick into the corner. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. A little more backspin on that instead that of the top cool. spin. He's Looks jogging good. around the bases rather than pulling up at second. And now, Ken Griffey Jr. This guy with big time power and an elite defender. That first offering is fouled off. And that one gets past the catcher. And the runner stays where he is. Trout stands at second with two gone. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. The 2-2. A foul ball, he stays alive. The 2-2. And a foul ball. down in the dirt but kept close the throw comes in too late and they get a run at home the 3-2 is off the outside edge and that is ball four one of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive no, secondary good. lead. So a ball down yeah. the line or an end of the gap no, really. will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. The pitch. 
That's a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. 0-2 oh now. Nope. And there's a ball. I got to count one and two. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. Righty to the plate. Slap the other way. Foul. One, two now. Foul ball, he stays alive. And a one two. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Good job of damage control right there. We move to inning number two from Shy Park. It's the A's one and the Angels nothing. Shy Park, second inning, set to go. Here's some real power at the plate. Shohei Otani. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could drive one of those sports, too. Swings and misses. And it's 0-1. The wind of the pitch. And ball one. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, Boog, Joey Mack, sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. Righty delivers. That one missed. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter because pitcher's got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strength. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. Next one just misses. Full count now. No, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. And here's a 3-2. Fouled off again. And it remains 3-2. and two. And a pitch. That one ripped left field. Can't get there. Should be extra bases. Into second base. The tying run is on with a leadoff double. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Now here is Jared Walsh. Here comes a pitch. And delivers outside. After the loss yesterday afternoon where they really didn't ever get things going on offense, I think this is an important opportunity right here to pick up an early run. Runner at second, nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Two Next ball, offering strike, misses. Two balls and a strike. Fouled off to the right. This one popped up. Andrews sizes this one up, and there's one away. So that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Justin Upton. Here's the veteran outfielder, Justin Upton. 
No, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. The pitch. That one missing low. Runner at second here, one gone. The next offering misses, and the count is 2-0. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Runner leads away at second. Bounced up the middle, and that one finds its way through. Tying run is in to score from second. It's 1-1. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. And next for L.A., Seth Brown. And a pitch. Good eye right there. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count even, one and one. And one and two. Tied up here in the early going. Next offering is fouled back. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And now two gone. Well, this guy's been pretty much a non-factor so far this weekend. Very little in the way of impactful at-bats and quality at-bats, and let alone contact. That's the sixth time they've set him down on strikes in the series. So no doubt, frustration mounting and very high right now. Max Stassi comes up to hit. And he deals. Pitch misses. 1-0. And the right-hander deals. Not showing great command so far in this at-bat. 2-0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Up to the runner at first with two gone. Swings through that one for strike two. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next one misses, and now it's three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. To third. Noisy picks it up, and that is that. But well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. All even now at 1-1. We head to the bottom of the second. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Tony Kemp. The second baseman, Tony Kemp. And the pitch. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning threw a lot of pitches.
Left hand batter waits. Two and oh. There's the strike. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Popped in the air. Left field. Ground. Makes the ground. And there's one down. Batting seven. The catcher. John. So here's Murphy now. Murphy. And a pitch. That misses, and it's one to know. Foul ball there. One down, base is empty. Pitch misses, two and one. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Two and two. Stays alive. And the righty deals. And now the count filled up three and two. And he walked him. That's a nice at bat and a great take on 3-2. Probably could have gone either way in that spot around the knees. Here's Billy McKinney at the plate. McKinney. The right-hander back to work. There's the strike. The next pitch misses at one and one. At the belt and fires. Ball inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. The pitch. In the dirt. Well done behind the dish. Got him. Two out. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the know. dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Next up for the A's, Sheldon Noise. And here it comes. That's in for a strike. Oh, one's the count. Two outs. Swings through that one out front that time. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Here's the 0-2. And now one and two. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. And now it's one and two. And it's fouled away. Kicks and fires. Way outside and it gets away. No advance though. The pitch. Well struck left field. That one back. 
Up against the wall and brings it in. We play two full, all tied 1-1. One, one. Back here in Philadelphia, now it's the right fielder, Taylor Ward. The right fielder, number three, Taylor A wide to kick Ward. the pitch. That clips a corner. Now one and one. No Off the mark there. Two and one. Next pitch inside. Ball three. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Next to hit, David Fletcher. And a pitch. This is again five in a row. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Righty to the plate. On the ground right side. Four, six, three. And they turn the double play. Matt Duffy, the next to hit for the Angels. Three hits and 12 trips so far in the series. Caprillion back to work. Right side. Over to first. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Home half of the third coming up. Tied at one. Welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. Digging in for Oakland. Jonah Bride. He's the not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Here comes a pitch. That one down the line. And it goes just foul. Righty delivers. Pitch misses. Now one and two. Here's a one two. Way high. Two balls, two strikes. Two and two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. In the air, right side. Ward makes the play. One up, one down. Now got it. Shortstop. Elvis. Andrew. Elvis Andrews digs in now with just one hit and 11 at bats in the series so far. The pitch just missed. pitch 
That one lifted to left. Brown racing over to make the catch. Up next for Oakland. No left fielder. Mark. Here's Mike wow. Trapp. The right hater back to work. Yeah. There's a strike. Oh Out towards left center. Brown. Long run into the gap. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that's the inning. A's go quickly and quietly there. Score remains deadlocked at one. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Down the third baseman, the Anthony Eagles. Rendon. The third baseman, number six, Anthony Rendon. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike at the knees. It's 0-1. Swings and fouls one off. That one is absolutely belted. And it's gone! Home run! A solo shot. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-1. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair when you're out in front on a breaking ball like that such a good chance that it's gonna hook foul but not this time he kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole. Back, always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an Joe inning Mary. kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning Otani looks at a strike second trip to the plate for him The wind of the pitch. Strike two. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. The wind of the pitch. Oh, that's off the plate. And there's a foul ball. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He's just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And here's the first baseman, Jared Walsh. Four for 12 in the series so far. Caprillion keeping him close. Another throw over, and he's back again. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Right-hander kicks deals. Misses inside. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Into center. Junior makes the play, and there's one down. Now back, 
the center fielder, Justin Upton. Justin Upton, the next to hit for the Angels. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. one is outside and it's a ball and a strike. Otani stands at first with one out. He's going. He's Shohei going. on the go. Swing and a miss. The tag and he's out at second. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that's the third out. Angels get one with a solo homer, and it's now a 2-1 ball game. Here at the ballpark, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Ken Griffey Jr. Ken Griffey Jr. The right-hander back to work. Just oh, off the good. inside edge. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and oh, pick up a run. Back. Next pitch misses inside. 2 and 0. Oh. 2 0 oh count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. Better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side or the fans better look out in the stands. Pitch has popped up. Rendon under this one. Makes the catch for the out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath the it a little bit and popped it up. Designated hitter, Jed Lowry. Next is the DH. A switch hitter, Jed Lowry. Three for 11 in the series coming in. And he deals. Nope. Just ball. missed. Ball one, no strike. Swing and a base hit. Pull that one right in the direction of the no shifted matter. defense, no but no one Second can make a play man. on it. I mean, that's no his man. approach, and it's probably not changing. Yeah. Riding to the plate down for Oakland, Tony Kemp. And here it comes. Ball. Ooh. Counts one and oh. The one oh. Foul ball. Kicks and deals. And a good eye there. Two balls, one strike. Tap to first. Walsh over to second. And it's a double play to end the inning. We played four. Angels two and the A's one. We 
We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the left fielder, Seth Brown. Leading off with the Angels, the left fielder, Seth Brown. The pitch. Yeah, that's big swing and a miss. Stays alive. And a pitch. And a foul ball. And the righty deals. Now a pop up on the infield. Andrews has this one sized up. Makes the grab one down. Now batting the catcher, Max Stassi. Max Stassi, the next to hit for the Angels. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. The pitch. That misses. And that's ball one. It's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for their pitchers, for opposing hitters, and really their number one job is to guide that staff through a ball game. And so when you also can turn it up offensively and be a force there, that is a win-win every manager's dream. And a pitch. That clips the corner. The wide to kick the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. comes a pitch swings and misses and two away now. two outs base is empty Taylor the Ward the next Taylor. to hit for the Angels Ward the pitch Ball. upstairs Counts one and oh And now two. two and nothing. Two balls, no strikes. Kicks and fires. That's ball three. to the right side. Kemp gets it to first. That ends the frame. Home half of the fifth coming up. Angels two and the A's one. Here at Shy Park, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Sean Murphy. The catcher. John Murphy. The right hander back to work. Nope. Ball one there. Action one, in the Angels right. bullpen. Jaime Berea, the young right hander, up and throwing. Junk getting loose as well. And the 1 0. -oh. Strike two. And 
a swing and a miss. One gone here. Billy McKinney up, up next, next for the A's. The right field. Billy McKinney. The pitch. That one fouled off. Righty to the play. And now the count Whoa, is even. Way out front for strike two. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. One and two here. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now batting, third baseman, Sheldon. Sheldon Noise up next for the A's. The pitch. In there at the knees. It's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And that one fouled off. Oh. Next pitch misses, and the count is one and two. And a swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three, and the A's are gone in order. And they trail it here, two to one. Back here in Philadelphia, top of the sixth inning. Here's David the Fletcher. Evening. The shortstop, David Fletcher. Caprillion back to work. Hey. And that's in for a strike. Movement in the bullpen. A.J. Puck, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Acevedo, the right-hander, loosening up as well. On the ground. Kemp gets it to first. Fletcher retired. The batter number five, second baseman, Matt Duffy. And now it's Matt Duffy. Three for 13 so far in the series. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Junior settles under it and makes the catch. And there are two down. Now batting, third baseman, Anthony Rendon. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. He went deep back in the fourth. Pretty important swing of the bat in this ballgame. Yeah, bro, he, he didn't waste any time. He jumped all over that pitch and saw it the entire way. You talk about squaring it up. He didn't miss a stitch on the baseball. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hander deals. And ball one. Oh, and he whips on it. But they get the oh. out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Top of the order, two up in the home half of the six. Angels two, and the A's one. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Jaime Maria. This is his third time out this year. 
No, so at this point in the ball game, we're talking about name. middle innings and the mm -hmm. little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see oh, just how many outs he's able to the give his skipper. Uh, and here it comes. Right. Looks at one outside there. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Jose Suarez getting ready to come in for Joe Matt Myers. Warming up as well. Next pitch is inside. And yeah, that's ball two. And a foul ball left side. The wind of the pitch. That one hammered center field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now Elvis. And here's Elvis Andrews. And a pitch. Out to short. Fletcher gloves it. And he beats it. He's safe. Well, that was an important at-bat in this game. So, great job there. Stepping up to the challenge. Now a huge at-bat in this game coming up. Wow. And now batting, Mike Trout. And a pitch. That's off the mark, and that is ball one. One run game, one out, one on. Next pitch is outside. Next one misses, and now 3-0. Swing and a miss as they green light him. Well, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Ground ball could be two. Fletcher toss the second. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice speed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn. And they're out of this. So a new pitcher on the mound for the A's, A.J. Puck. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, it's harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. Welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. And now the D.H., Shohei Otani. A wind of the pitch. Just off the inside edge. Strike on the outside. And a count one and one. Next offering is in for a strike. Out there to center. Junior going back on this one. One away. Now batting the first baseman, Jared Walsh. Jared Walsh will hit next. The pitch. That one misses, and that's ball one. There's a strike. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge just changing planes and very difficult especially for a left-handed hitter to track next pitch has popped up calls it in and there's two away
the batter, the center fielder, Justin Upton. Justin Upton at the plate. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss there. In the on-deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Nope. Last thing you want to do is miss a good, hittable fastball early in the count. One and one. Offering upstairs. Next one in the dirt. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Bounce to the right side, into the outfield base hit. Nice and bad right there. Not just the result, but also seeing a lot of pitches. Made him really work out there on the mound. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. So here's Brown at the plate. Throw to first. Upton hey. back in on a dive. The pitch. Ball one, one no strikes. Left hand hitter waits. That's Two ball. balls, no strikes to count. Well, knowing that this hitter's got holes in his swing, because he's got so much power, pitcher still can get a little too tight, afraid to make a mistake. Two outs. That one finds a corner. That's strike two. The 2-2. Two -two. Stays alive. Up to Leads off first with two down to the inning. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that'll do it. Angels lead one. They still lead it two to one. New pitcher now, Jose Suarez. And this is his season debut. Jose Suarez. Bottom of the inning. Now, Ken Griffey Jr. We talked about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. The pitch. And now the lefty. Slice the other way and foul. Another ball. I wonder how much of a distraction those fans behind home plate are to the opposing pitcher. I mean, they are into it. They're trying to will this claw back into this ball game. Junior swinging a drive. Deep right field. And that one is gone. This second of the year, and we're all square. It's 2-2.
what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Here's Jed Lowry. A wide and kick the pitch. Number eight, designated hitter. And that yeah. one just missed off the outside Lowry. edge. Kicks and fires. Ripped to short. Fletcher picks it up. Fletcher fires over to first. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the home. Number five. Second baseman. No way. Here's Tony yeah. Kemp. Wind of the pitch. And that one upstairs. And a swing and a miss. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left handed breaking ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Pitch misses way outside. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. The pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Three two now. Lifted in the air out to left. Brown pulls it down. Two down. Now batting, catcher, John. And here's Murphy now. And he deals. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two down, nobody on. So two balls and no strikes. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Kicks and deals. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. And out of here. John Murphy circles the bases. His first homer of the year, and just like that, they're out front. It's 3-2. one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit below wasn't anything too impressive, but it kind of needed for him to circle the Phillips. Now on the bump, Mike Myers. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Here's Billy McKinney at the plate. Up next for Oakland, the right fielder, Billy. And the pitch. Mark McKinney. That one's on its way. No question about it, and that one will go. His first homer of the year, and they add a run. It's 4-2. That's their third home run of the game.
They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. So two away with nobody on. Here's the third baseman, Sheldon Noise. Okay. The third baseman. Here comes Sheldon. the pitch. And that's outside. A 1-0. Inside. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. At the belt and fires. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. Riding to the plate. through there for a strike. Righty delivers. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Out number three. They explode with three solo homers in the inning. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Athletics four and the Angels two. Left-hander out of the bullpen, Sam Selman. This is his first appearance of the season. And welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's the Angels catcher, Max Stassi. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. And a pitch. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Activity in the bullpen, Lou Trevino. The closer is getting ready and perhaps looking at a long save opportunity here. Acevedo getting cranked up as well. The lefty, the 1-0. Oh. And there's a fly ball deep right field. Pulls it into the warning track. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. And a pitch. Ward up to the plate for the third time as he looks at that one down low. Next pitch misses outside. Ball two. Kicks and fires. Good eye in that spot. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He hasn't. We'll see how this at bat turns out. And a 3-0 finds his own. Three-one is on the way. And fouled off. Three-two. 
one is lifted in the air. Junior on the move to his right, and it's caught for the out. Now batting the shortstop, David Fletcher. So digging in, David Fletcher. I mean, these guys know they have to get going out of the gates, but you're not going to hear a skipper. You're not going to hear people really say that. And here it comes. Slice to right, and there's a hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now at the plate, Matt Duffy. In there, and it's 0-1. Move to first. He's good. Fletcher off of first with two away. No, Next ball. offering misses. One ball, one strike. For a strike. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two run lead. Got him. That's the third out. Angels strand one. They trail it here, four to two. to the bottom of the eighth. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's, Jonah Bryant. The first base. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. The pitch. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Mm -hmm. Right-hander kicks, deals. Oh. Action in the Angels' bullpen. Aaron Luke, the veteran southpaw, is getting ready to come on if needed. Bradley getting loose as well. And the pitch just missed. And the right hander deals. Hit hard on the ground is short. Sends it across the first. One gone to the bottom of the eight. Now that is and Drew. Next up for the A's, Elvis Andrews. And the right hander back to work. And there's the strike. Next offering is fouled back. pitch stays alive next pitch inside and the count one and two kicks and deals and a ball evens the count Bounce to the left side. Fletcher collects it. Two up, two down. Now 
the left field. Mark. Wow. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Trout. The pitch. That oh, one missed. Just off the outside part of the plate. Well, you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. That one missed. Now three and zero. Oh. And the righty deals. And that one fouled off. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Two down, nobody on. That one ripped. Upton makes the catch, and that'll do it. And one, two, three, go the A's. But they still lead this one four to two. So they turn to Lou Trevino. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Number 62. Lou. Top of the night. So in now for the Angels. Anthony Rendon. Here comes a pitch. And that's in for a strike. And a foul ball. Makes a nice running catch. And there's one away. Now battle. The designated hitter. Shohei. Here's Shohei Otani. And he deals. And now just two outs away. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. And the pitch. And a foul ball. Way back there, on its way, gone. Shohei Otani with a star scraper. His first homer of the year, it's 4-3. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. And next for the Angels, Jared Walsh. Now that is the first baseman, Jared Walsh. And a pitch. 
in there for a strike at the top of the zone. Yeah, there's a the ball. This is the guy they've turned to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. And misses. And that's strike two. This guy's sink has so much drop angle. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. Next off is down low. That's a really good take. Got him swinging. And there's two down. So up next, the Justin Upton. And there's one thing on the minds of these fans. That's the sweep. Trevino back to work. And that one missing low. Just missed. Well, he gave up the home run earlier in this inning, not pitching as aggressively here. One run game here at the top of the ninth. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Two outs. Bounced out to short. Throw to first, and ball game. And the A's hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. 4-3, our final score. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomsky. Talk to you soon.